Good morning, folks. You're likely to see these articles popping up like wildfire. The IPCC's pushed back their latest blame fest, and scientists around the world cannot deny the temperature trends any longer. An interesting point, however, I want to caution against. The record-setting Arctic ice is not a record amount of total ice, but we've bounced back to just slightly under average after having gone way, way low and breaking low records last year. The record this year is just how well we're recovering from that, but it's still below average. As you can see, it's 2013. This is indeed at the time that the BPC claimed the ice would already be gone. I mentioned pushing back the IPCC's Blame Humans report, but when it eventually comes out, Remember that if you were to ignore everything other than albedo, how much energy is reflected into space by the ice, and carbon dioxide forcing, it might look like we are indeed the culprits. However, all 125,000 observers here know that this nearly unchanging solar forcing that our governments put up at the top of this chart is only unchanging in solar output and it's only in the UV spectrum. The evidence in they want to blame you is from the experts and is clear. While solar irradiance remains steady, NASA says our magnetosphere is 10% weaker than it was in the 19th century. That's Earth's protective interface with energy from space. And as Section 1.2 of the Counter-Strike spreads, so does the realization that we also need to factor X-ray and gamma radiation from our star and the galaxy. It's quasi-criminal that quantum tunneling gets moved to second place on today's top stories, because Electric Universe proponents like me just heard the horn. How about super cold chemical reactions at 50 times the speed of room temperature within these electrochemical tubes? They're saying this changes the life equation in space vastly. Tasmania. Evening showers will stick around and back build on the southwest coast tomorrow, while the South Island of New Zealand should see that leading system by tomorrow evening. The lone story here Still that low, chugging down and across Europe. Leading edge of the convergence is where the worst storms are for the most part. In the US, we have perfect high and low pressure signatures matching their wind with the red high clockwise pushing out from the center and the low draws in counterclockwise. Converging air masses making the severe weather here tonight actually extends southward across Arizona and New Mexico as moisture is still being drawn up from the tropics. Alaska and western Canadian coastlines taking major rain and will continue for a bit that North Pacific power low cresting in. Sheens were detected near an Exxon platform 70 miles off the coast of Victoria. They claim the problem is now fixed. Also had a more significant eruption at Mount Loken. Its smaller rumblings have lasted for over a year now. Solar flares still quiet same story the sunspots are so pitiful i need to use the magnetogram or you'd see almost nothing at all these spots are not impressive i was incorrect yesterday when i surmised a potential coronal hole stream impact the northern departed opening likely missed earth and the density could have just been local perturbations and solar wind magnetics it's certainly not a homogeneous stream but either way there was no energetic flux or geomagnetic disturbances afoot magnetic connectivity of the inner planets Mars has no proximity warning because it's not next to that sunspot. Its grainy appearance means it's on the backside, with opaque Mercury, Venus, and Earth on our side of the disk. Folks, I'm sad to report we have more damage on the Soho Lasco C3 camera. Both it and the C2 were damaged months ago, likely by protons, making those specks that now never seem to move on the screen. But now we have a different flaw. A planetary glare has burned into the lens or something very similar to that. As Mercury exits stage right, we see a static oval with protruding equatorial jets which we recognize as light flare on Lasco. It is a shame, it ruins the images, but when we zoom in you can indeed see the background stars through it so at least you know nothing's there. Still got a lot of plasma filaments, that big coronal hole its about here as well. Eyes open, no fear, it's 6.55am eastern time and that's the news. Be safe, everyone.